Hey everyone, so it is Friday night and it's around 10 o'clock right now as I'm doing this voiceover and I had a cup of coffee about two hours ago. So I think I'm going to be up for a little while. Um, but anyway, I had a blast putting this canvas together. And um, so it's just a cheap, cheap, cheap canvas from Michael's and I'm sure I got it on sale. And I took some paper and I tore it up to do just a little bit of collaging on the background. Um, I didn't want to do too, too much here. And you know what? I don't know if it's the same for all of you, but this turned out like nowhere near what I thought it was going to look like. <laughs> um... But that's okay. I mean, I guess most times it's like that for me. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but this one really went a whole different direction. So I have a little bit of graphic 45 paper that I um, adhere to the bottom down there. And that little top piece, um, really cool paper. It's like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's like cloth almost. And it's by Canvas Corp, which is what? That's, um, that is Hobby Lobby, if I believe. And I love it. That's from my scrapbooking days. And I've pulled it out to use it up. And, um, and what I like about these two papers together is that they're really nothing alike. <laughs> I mean, they, they don't look bad together, but they're, they're very, very, very different, right? Um, so I gave that a little bit of a dry, and I did use that 3D matte gel. And now I pulled out the new uh, Distress ink. And um, I really like the these inks. And I got it at Michael's, and I they were on sale. I want to say for, gosh, was it half price? And if I, they had the other ones, so this is the Tim Holtz set. So these are his favorite colors. And Diane Reevely and Dina Wakely also have a set. So I like these so much. I ordered the other two ink sets um, online. So I'm looking forward to getting those. I just did that today. And I'm using the, that Tim Holtz stencil. Now, this texture powder, along with the, what is it called? It's the Art Alchemy Acrylic Paint Opal Magic. So it's a Prima paint. And the texture powder is also made by Prima. And they're both Finnabar products. So Finnabar, she actually, um, you know, creates products for Prima, just like Tim Holtz does for Ranger. And I have to say, so this texture powder is supposed to make whatever you're working with, like texture, I mean, just what it says, right? Um, and it did a little bit. I can't really blame the texture powder, although I do have to use it, use it again to make sure that it really does what what I, you know, think it should. Um, but this Opal Magic Paint is very, very, very light in color. It's very cool because uh, if you put it on white paper, it would look one color. And if you put it on black paper, it would look a different color. So in that way, it's very cool. But it's very, very, very light in pigment. Very light. Um, so... So I'm okay with the paint, but it's not my favorite. But see that orange? Oh my gosh. So this is also our Alchemy acrylic paint made by Prima. But these are the metallic colors. Oh wow. I can highly recommend these. I like how bright they are. Um, like you can see this orange. <laughs> without any problems but that pink that I used before unless you're looking at it very closely you're not going to see it 
So the metallic paints, I can highly recommend. And this one is called Fresh Orange. So like it like very, very much. And I did want to finish the edges. So the first layer that I put on the edges was this orange paint. You know, and I remember a time where I did not like orange at all. And now it's one of my favorite colors. I like it very much. So I pulled out this Prima stencil and I am determined to use this, this opal magic paint, right? I'm determined to make it <laughs> look like it's something on this canvas. And you know what, even after doing this, again, if you're not up close to it, you're just not gonna see it. So I'll have to find the right project for that. Maybe my Bible art would be better. So now I took that 3D gel and some more of the metallic acrylic paint, and this is called Light Patina. Gosh, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to make it to where I could get some more texture. And that tool that I'm using, it has a paintbrush on one side and then a texture tool on the other end, I should say. And that is also made by Prima Finnabar. And I put a little bit on the, um, on the sides as well, so that would be my second layer on the sides. You don't wanna leave your sides white. And I didn't wanna leave it just orange either, although I do love it, but um, you know, I wanna make it cohesive. And if you were to look at it from the side, you know, it would match, match the, the top of it. So I'm gonna pull out my little Tim Holtz spray bottle there and go ahead and clean this up so I can continue on. And I am really liking this. Did I think even at this point it would look anything like this? No. So I have these, and these are also by Prima. Oh, that right there, that's a package for a frame. So this frame right here is a recollections frame. I got it on clearance for whatever, $1.50, whatever. Um, but that photo comes in a package um, from Prima. I know Tim Holtz has a package as well, very similar. And this that I'm putting on here now is one of the new Distress Collage Mediums. It's the vintage um, medium. And it was more gel-like than I thought it was going to be. I liked it actually very much. And all it does is it puts a little, it gives that little bit of a vintage look on top of whatever it is you're, you're working on. So on that photo, it just gave it a little bit of a deeper, like an older look, like it's been around for 50 years kind of look. And this particular frame, it was beautiful as is, but I'm like, you know what, let me put some of that um, vintage medium on the frame as well, and let me see how it works. I didn't know if it was meant for that or not, but I'm like, well, why the heck not, right? So I, you know, dried all of that up pretty well, because like I said, it's a, it's a gel. Yeah, I I didn't expect that, but it's very it's not like a paint. It's it's more like a, a gel. So um, I had to dry it up really good, and I really like the way it was looking. But if you know me, you can bet that I did not leave that frame just like that. <laughs> so. The, the sponge was sitting there with that orange paint on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, let me put some orange paint on here. So I had some like pretty detail at the top and at the bottom. And so I decided just to highlight it a little bit with that orange, just so it would pop a little bit more and really make it even more cohesive altogether because the orange is on the canvas as well. So I'm looking through to see how I'm gonna get this photo down. And then I ended up just using that 3D gel. Oh, and this right here, see what I'm using right there? It looks like a brush, it is not a brush. It is a silicone, it's almost like a spatula, actually. Um, 
but it's also by Prima and they sell different sizes and this is the one size that I got and I got it just because I was like intrigued by it right and I'm like how the heck am I ever going to use this let me tell you I use it all the time it is perfect for all of your mediums and I just I love it so I'm always using it um so I have the 3d matte gel on the back of that frame as well so it's going to adhere it so now I'm using it as an adhesive and I'm just cleaning it up just a little bit and I'm almost done not quite not quite so now at this point because I'm really liking this metallic acrylic paint so much I took out the steampunk copper another absolutely gorgeous color so again they're metallics but the colors are very vivid um, so all I do is I take a little bit of water add it to it and go ahead and splatter and I put quite a bit of splatter on it and I really like the way it's looking um, at this point. And I'm almost done. I'm almost done with it. So, but because I had some on the table, I decided to go ahead and splatter the edges of the canvas as well. And that is the last layer for the edges, or the sides, I should say. And I got it everywhere. Oh yeah, I got that paint everywhere. <laughs> it was all over the place. Um, but that's it. So now I'm done and I'm just going to show you and I hope that you like it. I mean, it was a lot of fun to put this together. So it's still very wet. I just put it aside. It'll dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll be able to hang it somewhere in the house. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope that you like this. All right. Bye everybody.